Hey, hey everyone, my name is Rachel Hall and I'm a first grade teacher and I help teachers set up and maintain literacy stations in their classroom. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make digital anchor charts using Google Slides. So let me share my screen. The reason why you're going, going to want to make digital anchor charts with your kiddos is because you wanna make sure that they can see and review the skill that you're teaching as much as possible. So you can share this with a Zoom call or a Google Meet. Um, you can also attach the slide we make today straight into any digital resource that you are going to make on Google Slides. So you're, the chances that the kiddos will see this, it uh, multiplies. So before we get started, I've written a blog about this as well, and you can view it at teachingfirsties.com, and the link will be below this video. So we're gonna make an anchor chart today on character traits. And if at any time I'm going too fast, please pause the video so you can follow along with each step. And if you need by the way, if you do need ideas or inspiration on anchor charts, I usually find Pinterest is the best place to start. So adapting the charts onto um, a slide does take some practice, but you're gonna want the most important parts to go onto a slide. So you're gonna wanna look at the slides on Pinterest and maybe scale it down so it's not so busy. You wanna keep it simple. So we're gonna start by adding an image. Now you'll see these are the default text boxes. We can delete them. They come on every slide, so I usually just delete them. Um, I'm going to add an image by clicking Insert and then image, search the web. Now here is a little trick. If you want a clip art image that has a transparent background, you'll either search for the name, let's do a boy, boy clip art, because otherwise you'll get stock images. And then you can see I've already done it, transparent background. Or you can search for PNG. Now you have these and they have transparent background. So I'm going to double click on it and add him to my slide. I don't want it to be the focal point of my slide, so I'm going to make him much smaller. I'm going to um, pull on the corners to make him smaller. You never want to pull on the top because that may shrink him and he'll be squished. Okay, that's about the right size. Let's add a title by adding a text box. I'm going to make it relatively big and I'm going to search type character traits and I'm going to give it the font of short stack. If you don't have this on yours, you can add it by clicking more font and finding it. I find that this one's a pretty kid-friendly font for them to read. And then I'm going to center it and make the size bigger. I can either click on the plus or I can choose my own size. So um, you're not limited to those. If I want a different size, let's say I want 50, I can type that in and now I have um, a font that is that big. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, think about what the rest of our character trait anchor chart will look like. I'm going to want to put a text box on one side that's, you know, what is the character like on the outside? What do they look like? And then on the other side, we'll do what, what are they like on the inside? So I'm going to, instead of adding a text box, I want to see actual shapes. I'm going to click on shapes here, right here. Little Google trick hint. If you don't remember what it is, which I never can, or maybe my eyes are so old that I've got to really squint, just hover over and you can see it. So I'm going to add in a rectangle right here. And again, I will do center it. I want short stack and I want it to be about 16, 18, we'll do 18. Now, before I start typing in it, I know I want one on the other side that's the same. So I'm going to um, hit command C or control C and hit control V or you can just do control D to duplicate it and I'll put that over there. Now that has the same settings, made my life easier. So I'm going to click on here and you'll notice it's right in the middle. Well, I want it at the top. So if I go back over here to center or to align, see how that arrow will push the text up to the top? Now I'm at the top. So what we see, Make sure your capitals are all okay, what we see. And then you will type in brown hair or yellow shirt, green shoes, maybe blue 
pants. Okay. And then over here on this side, we will want to maybe say what we learn. I'm going to just copy and paste that over here. Oh, let's put that up the top. Maybe what we learn about the character, um, what we know about the character. Maybe you can do outside, inside, it's up to you. And then you can type in the rest. Maybe you learn about his thoughts or his feelings or how he acts. Um, how, let's see what he says. Okay. Now, and of course, you're going to want to customize your anchor chart based on what skills you want to teach and how you want to teach them. Okay. So let's give our anchor chart a name. Otherwise, it'll be called Untitled Presentation Forever, and I'll never be able to find it. So I'll do character tweets right there. And then as soon as you click off of it, that is saved. And now I can share this with my students during a Google Meet call or a Zoom call. And I can add this to my Google Classroom, or I can copy the slide into a character trait activity that if I wanna make it in Google Slides. Now you do that by clicking on File, and then make a copy of either one entire presentation or selected slides. It's it's only one slide, so both of these will work. But if you had more than one slide, you would need to um, choose which ones you wanted or the entire presentation. And then you can click on copy. And now I have two. So what I can do is add new slides onto this one. This might be ca um, character trait activity. Character traits. Ac yeah. Come on, activity. And then I can add new slides. Um, and now I have two. I have my anchor chart, and now I have my activity where I can add my slides to the bottom with it. So if, if you do find yourself short on time and you don't want to make them, you can head over to the anchor charts that I have available for purchase on literacystations.com, and you can pick those up right there. I've added the link below. And I hope this was helpful for you. Go practice making those anchor charts. I'd love to hear in the comments if you made them, if you had trouble with them. Um, you know, ask me a question. I'll try to respond as many times as I can. And while you're there, click on like and subscribe. And so you can be up, uh, notified for any new videos that I upload. Have a good one.